Make you fancy, Alvin. Oh, no, we're making it big. <laughs> That's the name of the show. <laughs> this is a 100 egg omelet. Uh, arms dying. It's a damn lot of eggs. It's a lot of time. Shout out to all my hens out there. You're the real ones. All right, stay together, stay together. One, two, three. Open your eyes, Rie. <laughs> Guys, I'm Alvin. I love making giant food. And today on Tasty's Making It Big, we're gonna do some crazy stuff. Today, I'll be cooking for my fellow Tasty producer, Rie. You might have seen her on Worth It, on Eating Your Feed, and a lot of other Tasty videos. She's an amazing producer and a wonderful chef. I wanna see if I can make something that's really cool that'll really impress her. So let's go see what she wants to eat today. Hello. Hey, Alvin. How's it going? Good. Did you have any lunch or dinner plans today? I didn't have lunch, I didn't have <laughs> breakfast even, so okay. I'm very hungry. What do you personally enjoy like eating on a day-to-day -day basis? I love Japanese breakfast. Okay. Rice, mm -hmm. miso soup, mm -hmm. and tamagoyaki, mm -hmm. which is Japanese-style omelette. The one where they like cook it in the pan and it rolls up? Exactly. Okay. So, I would be so impressed if you made me omelette. Like a giant omelette? Giant omelette. Oh. <laughs> well, just to be clear though, like American omelets and Japanese omelets are different, right? Like what makes them so unique? So Japanese omelet, it's like you explained, it's like rolled and it's layered. Mm -hmm. American omelet has a lot of fun ingredients mm -hmm. like peppers, caramelized onions, mm -hmm. bacon, and cheese. Are those your, like your favorite ingredients in omelets? Yeah, I love caramelized onion and okay. a bacon combination. Doesn't seem like it's going to be very easy. Make you fancy, Alvin. Oh, no, we're making it big. <laughs> That's the name of the show. Oh, I have an idea. Yeah. Not only am I going to make you a giant omelet, what if I make you a 100 egg omelet? 100 egg omelet. 100 egg omelet. It would be so amazing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get to it. Okay, here we are. As you can see, I have many, many, many eggs. I have never purchased, handled, or seen this many eggs in one place in my entire life. So the first step to making a 100 egg omelet is to crack 100 eggs. So let's get cracking. Hey. Oh, I broke the first one. We are off to a fantastic start. To crack eggs, you wanna take the egg and you wanna crack it on a flat surface, not on the edge of a pan or a bowl because it could really shatter the inside. Knock, knock, who's there? You know, just an egg. Sometimes people ask me, what came first, chicken or the egg? After hours of deliberation, I don't really know. <laughs> Fun fact, <laughs> a hen lays one egg every 26 hours. So that means for one hen to lay 100 eggs, that would, that would be, what's the, ah, damn it, I'm, I'm Asian, I should be knowing this better. Days, 108 days and eight hours for one hen to lay 100 eggs. Also known as a damn long time. <laughs> Shout out to all my hens out there. You're the real ones. We're almost there, it's been quite a journey. Number 100. Woo! Okay, we have officially cracked 100 eggs into this bowl. It's a damn lot of eggs. It's a lot of time. Thank you chickens for your hard work. I'll see you in a bit. So these are 100 eggs. We're just gonna whisk them and we're gonna season them later. I'm actually very excited for this. We're gonna go. Woo! <laughs> There's so many eggs, I can't even get them all. I want to make sure this is the smoothest egg mixture anybody's ever seen. So I want to whisk the crap out of these eggs. <laughs> Woo. It's a workout. Right arm's getting real tired about now. <laughs> oh, there was a yolk I missed. There you go, I got you. That's right, you don't escape from me. I eat yolks for breakfast. Actually though, I like this beat. That's the egg beat. All right, I'm done. Arrgh, my arm's dying. I'm so tired. I'm slowing down. It's not a vortex anymore. It's a kiddie pool. I want to say that's pretty much done. You know, we got a nice consistent color. We're all good. We're going to add some salt. I don't know how much salt to put in because it's 100 eggs, so I'm going to kind of eyeball it. I want to say that's enough. Going to transfer these and start rolling our omelet. 
My technique for making this omelet is similar to the Japanese style, which is called a tamagoyaki. I think it's going to be like a rolled omelet. So what I'm gonna do is we have two of these trays lined with silpat to make sure it doesn't stick. I'm actually just gonna brush these with a lot of butter. Butter and eggs, you know, fantastic marriage. Obviously, you know, we could dump 100 eggs, you know, into a pan maybe, but it's kind of boring, you know, it's not what I do. I have no idea if this is going to stay upright, if it's gonna break, but it's all good. We're going to basically try to pour some eggs in here. I'm gonna guess like a quart of eggs per container. Mmm, delicious. Oh yes, nothing like pouring liquid eggs. Let's go evenly. Is this enough eggs? I hope it's enough eggs. I think it's enough eggs. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's go for round two. All right. I'm gonna go and take these to the oven to bake. I want it to set into a nice sheet, but I don't want it to overcook. We're gonna cook at 300 for, I'm gonna say 10 minutes. I'm gonna very carefully take this to the oven. All right, Alvin, don't you mess this up now. Your honor is on the line. I cannot displease Rie. Okay, we have nice uh, big egg sheets here. This was a little lopsided. I think in the oven, it just kind of tips a little bit that way. It's okay. We're gonna put some cheese on it and I washed my hands, so we're all clean. This is gonna go like over here. Yeah, yeah, here we go. The heat from the egg sheets are going to actually help melt the cheese while it's being rolled. We're gonna do some bacon bits on here. I love bacon, Rie likes bacon. <laughs> I think this is gonna be fun. Well, that's kind of awesome. And we're just gonna kind of go for it and roll it and see if this works. So first you gotta get it to go around though. Keep it all tight. Yeah, there we go. All right. So sheet number one, we're gonna transfer it over to here. We're gonna do the same thing. Coming out and landing. It's going well so far. No major hiccups. We're gonna keep going. <laughs> okay. And there you have it. <laughs> That's roll number two. <laughs> Edges looking a little floppy. That's okay. I'm gonna need to reuse these trays though. So we're gonna transfer this onto a board. This is getting heavy already. Whew. To keep this warm, I'm gonna cover it in some foil. And then we're gonna do two more trays. <laughs> hey! Each one of these, I think is around 20 eggs. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> I didn't mismeasure. Tray number three, tray number four, 20 eggs a piece. Let's put them back in the oven. Fingers crossed I can keep rolling this without it breaking or doing anything because surprisingly, this is going according to plan. <laughs> All right, these look pretty fantastic. Fix the little oven adjustment, so a little bit smoother. We got some nice American cheese. Look at this beautiful stack. It's like, I got the cheddar, like in the rap music videos. Load this guy up. Actually very fun. <laughs> I'm a happy boy. <laughs> Not too much. Some for me. This is it for this one. That one's gonna get ham. It's like I'm painting but with food. I think it's time to roll. We're gonna take the one we made before and then somehow get this onto here. Slow. Ooh. All right. <laughs> well, we've landed. Now we're gonna start to roll again. Ooh, like that. Now it's getting kind of heavy. Tuck it, tuck it, okay. Ooh, smooth. And then one more time. All right, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's getting kind of crazy. Uh, but you know, we're all good. It's keeping together relatively well. And now we have to get that guy onto here. <laughs> Am I strong enough to do this? Oh, come on. All right. Successful landing. <laughs> this omelet is one big bowl. <laughs> all right, and then one more time. Oh, the tray's tipping. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we are currently at 80 eggs. This is getting heavy. <laughs> Woo! The omelet is on the board. Still got a little bit to go. I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna go for the last 20 eggs. Oh my God, this is heavy. Oh. Okay, so I think I might have miscalculated how many eggs I need to use per tray. This won't make enough for two trays. This is only gonna be enough for like one and a half, so we're going big. I think let's do 120 eggs. I'm gonna whisk this one more time to make sure we're okay. I don't know if you guys have seen the 100 layer lasagna video. I ended up doing 104 layers on accident. 
it's kind of in my blood to go a little bit over what I'm used to doing. I'm trying to impress Rie. Hopefully she will be impressed by the fact that I went above and beyond for her. This is 100 eggs. Oh, a yolk fell out. That's okay. We're gonna whisk it back in. <laughs> 120 eggs, the final layer. Might be a little heftier than most because it needs to be the outer layer. I'm gonna take this in to bake and we're gonna hope that we can actually make this work because if it's too big and it breaks, I'm gonna be very sad. Don't fail me now. Oh. <laughs> so this is the fifth sheet, 100 eggs. This is the sixth one. 120. I think they look beautiful. I think they look super smooth. Rie loves caramelized onions, so we have caramelized onions. I also do want to put a little bit more cheese because I think it'll help bind the last layer. I think it's gonna taste pretty darn awesome. There's a lot of flavors going on. You got sweetness, you got creaminess, you got saltiness pretty much. And every single layer, it's been a long journey. I've used probably like five pounds of cheese at this point. I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. So we got a really heavy guy over here. We're gonna start rolling and hopefully that everything goes according to plan. <laughs> oh, that was really heavy. Oh my God, this guy's getting massive. Oh, this might be tough. This is heavy. I gotta grip it. We're at 100. This little extra leg room is gonna help. We're gonna move it on to 120. It all comes down to this, folks. I don't know if you can tell, this is wobbling. <laughs> I need this guy to last me one more and then we'll be okay. Please don't fail me now. Come up. Okay. Okay. The reason I put this guy in the middle is because I want to fold this over and then just do one last roll and we'll be there. This is the big moment. Last layer. All right, that is on. All right, stay together, stay together, stay together, stay together. All right, <laughs> we did it. This is a 120 egg omelet. It's very big, it is very heavy. While it's still warm, I do wanna serve it, but I also need to decorate it a little bit. So to finish, Rie likes chives and ketchup on her omelet. I'm gonna draw a face and hopefully it looks kinda cool. <laughs> okay, so now I gotta give this guy cheeks. This is my uh, attempt at a design, not the next Picasso, but that's okay. I'm gonna finish this with a touch of chives just in the front and in the back. Okay, those are the last of the chives. Uh, it's been crazy. This is one heavy guy. So we're gonna go give this omelet to Rie. Hey Rie. Yeah. You ready for your omelet? I'm ready. All right, close your eyes please. Okay. I'm very excited to see <laughs> what you think on the count of three, one. Two, three, open your eyes, Rie. Ah! <laughs> it's so cute! Oh my god! <laughs> I thought you were gonna make just an American omelette. This is Japanese one. It's an old one. Oh yeah. my god! It's actually not 100 eggs. Uh huh. It's 120. <laughs> because I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go, back. we could do one more. I love it! Cool. Do you want me to cut it open for you? Yes. Yeah. If you want to give it a name before we cut it in half, you're more than welcome to. Well, let's name this um, after your middle name, which is Carl with K. Why did you have to tell them my middle name? So the this tables is Carl. have turned. <laughs> Sorry, Carl. Ow. Did you just say ow? No, it was Carl. Oh, it Carl said me. ow. Wow! Yeah. Look at the layer. This is what it looks like on the inside. You're touching Carl. <laughs> How does Carl feel? I don't Carl know. is very bouncy. Did Carl give you permission? <laughs> Here is your omelet. Thank you. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Good? Mm-hmm. Woo! Wow. Tasty. Oh, colorful too. So it sounds like Carl was a success. Carl was a success? Mm -hmm. You impressed me. <laughs> I'm happy I finally got the chance to cook for you. Thank you so much. Yeah, anytime. Please continue to eat. Okay. I think rest of the world should see this. Okay. <laughs> Well, 
We did it guys, we impressed Rie. A lot of effort, but I think it definitely was worth it. I think now I have a newfound respect for eggs. And this is it, this is the final episode and this season's Tasty's Making It Big. It's been a blast. Six episodes, six crazy giant dishes for six amazing people. I'm super happy that I got the chance to do this. I'm always gonna be trying to do bigger and better things. So until next time, peace.